Our goal here at Domino Data Lab is to help businesses get more of their models into production. To increase this model velocity, it is important to have full reproducibility and traceability in your model building process. In addition to the storing, versioning, and synchronizing of files provided via the Domino file system, our solution also supports central Git repositories such as GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. We support all the common Git workflows such as pulling the latest content, pushing changes, browsing files, and more. And now with our new Domino 5.0 release, we improve these capabilities by simplifying the steps needed to switch branches and guiding users through a consistent process to resolve conflicts when merging code into their chosen repository. To start using Git inside of Domino, you have to go to your account settings and select Git credentials. Here, you can already see I've already set up a Git account, but if I wanted to add another one, it's a matter of selecting add credentials, specifying the nickname, what Git service provider I want to use, and then also specifying which access type. Once I've set up my Git credentials, now it's just a matter of creating a project that uses Git. So in my projects view, I would select new project. I would specify the project name, select Git service provider. Here I'm going to use GitHub, the Git credentials that I just created. Now I can either choose to pull a repository or create a new repository, for example. Here I'll just pull, I'll select who's the owner of the repository and then select the project that I want to pull. If I now want to switch branches inside of a workspace, I would go over to the file changes and under code, I would be able to select the branch that I wanted to work on, pulling the repository and the files associated to it. When syncing files to Git, if there's merge conflicts, you'll be notified. You can either resolve manually or force my changes. Resolving manually basically leads the user to resolve the conflicts by file name. So I can continue this and move to see the files and then individual files. I can either use my changes, use the origin repo changes or mark as resolved. 